What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how we can make this shutter effect in Unity. So first of all we're gonna go uh, into Blender, let's just delete this uh, cube and then we're gonna go to edit, preference and then in the get extension we're gonna type uh, cell fracture and then we're gonna install. After that uh, we're gonna go to uh, add zone and then type cell fracture and you should be able to see it just check on it okay and then we're gonna go to add uh, a cube and then uh, we're gonna adjust uh, the position and the scale we're gonna scale it down uh, and then uh, we're gonna apply all transform then uh, we're gonna go to edit mode and then we're gonna subdivide, right click subdivide because the more subdivision object has, the more it will generate uh, fractured pieces. So uh, we're gonna go to object, quick effect, cell fracture. Here keep uh, the default values, only the noise, make it one to produce uh, sharp edges. And then uh, click on OK. Then here as you can see, the fractured pieces are generated. Okay, let's just export the object as an FBX. Uh, here I'm, I'm exporting it into my Unity project. I'm gonna name it Glass. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna drag and drop the object in my scene. Okay, and uh, then let's just unpack the prefab so we can edit it. Uh, we're gonna name it whole glass so this is the original cube and these are the fractured pieces as you can see now let's create a script we're gonna name it uh, glass shatter Okay, and then now we're gonna create a game object. We're gonna name it uh, the whole glass. And then we're gonna create a list of rigid bodies. We're gonna name it uh, shards. We're gonna create a float uh, variable. We're gonna name it uh, explosion force. And then we're gonna have uh, explosion uh, radius. And then we're gonna have a, a Y force. And then we're gonna have a private uh, boolean. We're gonna name it has shattered. It's gonna be equal to false. In the start method, we're gonna have a for each loop where we're gonna go through each uh, object in the list. Uh, we're gonna make uh, the objects, the shards objects uh, disabled. Uh, and then the kinematics equal to true. So they are not affected by gravity. And then the whole glass should be activated. Okay. And then now we're gonna create a, a function. We're gonna name it uh, shatter. Inside it, we're gonna have the vector three hit point. And then inside the method has shattered uh, is gonna be true. Uh, and the whole glass is gonna be deactivated. And uh, let's just uh, copy this uh, method. Uh, and then we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna make it true and this one false. And then we're gonna add the explosion force. We're gonna have explosion force, uh, head point, explosion radius, and the Y force. Then in the update, we're gonna check if it's already shattered. So like we skip. Otherwise, uh, we check uh, if we clicked with our left click mouse button. Here we're calling the raycast thing. I'm not gonna explain the raycast. Uh, like basically it checks uh, what objects you're clicking with your mouse. So yeah. Yeah, if we hit the whole glass object, then uh, we're gonna call the function.
Okay. And then save. Okay, now we're gonna assign the script here. Uh, and then the whole glass is gonna have a collider to detect the raycast. And then the shards, we're gonna click all of them, click and shift. And then we're gonna add the collider and the rigid body. Okay. Uh, and then here we're gonna lock uh, the inspector. Then we're gonna assign uh, click and shift down. We're gonna assign the list of shards here. Uh, also, we're gonna assign the whole glass here. And then we're gonna align the camera with our view. And then now let's hit play. So here first, the list of shards are disabled and the whole glass is enabled. Now when we click on it, the opposite happens. The list of shards are enabled with the gravity is on and the whole glass is disabled. Okay, now we have a shatter audio. I'm gonna add it to, to my script when we click on the glass. Here just add uh, the audio source. And then uncheck play on awake. And drag and drop the audio clip here. Then now let's go to the script. Um, here we're gonna define the audio source, public audio source. And then in the shutter method, um, first we're gonna check if uh, the audio source is not null, then we're gonna play the audio. So now the audio is gonna uh, play when we hit on the glass. Uh, here assign the audio source, yeah. Another thing, we're gonna create a material, uh, glass material. Uh, we're gonna add the glass material to all of these objects. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna edit the material we're gonna just uh, make it transparent and then play with the values to look like a glass um, also make sure the tra it's transparent yeah this is uh, much better um, yeah so just play with these values as you want now let's play now uh, here you, you can see when we click it shattered and the audio plays thank you guys for watching